Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel, on our website, or on our social media. It's in the description below. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a 2020 model, now available pre-owned, just arriving, based on a model that's been around forever, as it references the original 1963 Hoyer Carrera, a landmark chronograph whose best features are preserved herein with modern fit finish materials and water resistance. So the watch is classically styled and classically sized at 39 millimeters, this 160th anniversary limited edition of 1,860 pieces is nicely dimensioned for all wrist sizes. Now you can see the watch in profile is neither thick nor thin at 14.6 millimeters. It's about par for a sports watch, but from lug to lug, it is far shorter than most modern Carreras. At 47.7 millimeters, it is a timepiece can wear on a smaller wrist. The spacing between the lugs is 19 millimeters, which is very vintage inspired. Now the timepiece fits easily. It's not too broad across the wrist and you can see in the down the barrel shot, I have plenty of clearance on each side. The overhead shot proves the same and in terms of cuffs, you shouldn't have trouble with dress sh shirts because you can see how sloped the case plank is, but you'll definitely be able to fit it underneath most shirts and every jacket. Taking a quick look at the hardware and the software, it's high grade. Tag Heuer is not necessarily an haute de gamme brand, but they don't short you the materials here as you get a full large rectangular scale alligator leather strap. It is black. It is a matte finish. You can see there's a little bit of bolstering to add volume and then a narrow sheer cut so you can see in profile the layers of leather. Monotone stitch. Take a look carefully. You can see this is a brand new Tag Heuer strap and they are very specific in their focus here. They are looking for the vintage enthusiast because the strap is branded Heuer. The dial is branded Hoyer. The crown is branded Hoyer. Even the buckle is branded Hoyer. While this is a Tag Hoyer watch, the company appears to understand that all of the currency with watch collectors is carried by the old Hoyer family name, not Technique d'Avant-Garde. Now the timepiece does feature the classic Carrera lug profile, which means the lugs, if anything, are slightly out of proportion to the case. They're huge, and this is how it's been since the original in 1963. They're integrated, thrusting, angular, almost severe in profile, but they make for one of the most distinctive cases in the history of the business. You can also see that the watch includes traditional pump style pushers, that Hoyer branded crown, a little bit of a domed bezel, but it's a minimal bezel. It's almost not there. Take a look and you can see one of the most dramatic cambered sapphires I've ever encountered this side of a quorum bubble. It's designed to evoke a plexiglass, and this watch is very true to history, right down to the no-date satin sunburst silver dial, the Carrera and Hoyer branding. The only controversial part of the watch might be the Fotina, but I'm not in favor of Fotina for nostalgia's sake, but I do like when it is an attractive color complement, and it adds much needed warmth to this otherwise austere grayscale dial. You can appreciate the fact that a dial set with individual indices, features surprising nuance considering the lack of any other complications or even a date. The blocks are individually polished as well as satinated, applied, and then outboard you have that dot of simulated aged loom at center. The hands are fastened down their middle and polished to contrast well against the dial base, and each of the individual registers is dished, so it's slightly sunken into the dial with concentric circular stamped guilloche or azurage, and then you can see there are chapterings as well as little bit of a vertical cut to add another plane of focus and some more visual nuance. Uh, take note, the seconds hand is blackened and that for contrast against the dial base. There's a track outboard or ray hook that is sloped and it helps to visually unify the bezel with the dial center. Turn it all over. And the watch includes a 160th anniversary Tag Heuer commemoration rotor and this is really the only place you're going to see tag hoyer mentioned is even the movement itself is only labeled hoyer limited edition 1860 pieces 100 meters water resistant more than most carreras caliber hoyer 02 started life as the caliber 1969 before it became the CH80 before it was basically canceled the Chevenet factory built to construct it was idled it came back as a tourbillon and then finally returned as an automatic movement in straight up chronographs and that's exactly what we have here unlike its Seiko based predecessor the 1887 which does business as the Hoyer 01 today this is a 
Tag Heuer Original. It's technically sophisticated with an 80 hour power reserve. It uses Etichron, which means it can be adjusted quite precisely. Though this version has no date, it retains the hacking seconds, the 33 pivot joules, still beats away at 4 hertz, and it includes a crisp column wheel and vertical clutch tandem. The column wheel feel on this watch is as good as anything in the business. I rate it equal to Rolex Talanga to the Breitling Caliber B01, which you might not call to mind with those other two, but they all belong in the discussion of best column wheel feel. You also get the vertical clutch, so the chronograph engages without chronograph seconds hand stutter, and you can leave it running if you prefer to just have hours, minutes, and seconds at center. A limited edition, a beautiful, perfectly proportioned case, a detailed dial with a little bit of warmth added. This is a versatile, handsome, collectible, and timeless watch. One of the best currently offered by TAG. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the Hoyer Carrera 160th anniversary.